football is what I want to do, it's always what I've dreamt of doing, it's my degree that's going to pay the future, so it'd be a very tough decision for me. And it's something I don't think I know the answer to until it happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. Uh, I probably started playing when I was about four years old, with my, young, with my older brother's team, sorry. Um, so I played for a fair few years, that's always my inspiration to be as good as my brother, and sort of, so it sort of made my dad proud really. I got signed for Lincoln when I was about 12 years old, and that was only on the uh, Centre of Excellence scheme, so he was training twice a week and playing games. And then I finally signed um, <coughs> youth contract terms with him when I was 16. I had to move within a few miles of the ground, so I had to leave home when I was 16, and uh, I went to live there with uh, like a like a carer family with another player who I didn't know at the time. And then we was training day in, day out, and then playing games on Saturday, and he'd have a Sunday off. You'd have to stay in Lincoln the whole time you went home for weekends. He did schoolwork on a Wednesday and a Friday, Wednesday all day and then a Friday afternoon. And that was to help you get a uh, GM, uh, what's it called, MBQ, uh, Excellence in Sport. Uh, so if you didn't get a professional contract after two years, you had something to come away with to help you get to university. But, and obviously the football was good, it's to a professional standard, so you're training day in day out, working on your fitness, your strength and skill and that, so it's, it's what you want really. I did my two years scholarship and then uh, after that I got a week extra just to finally make the decision and then after that I got released uh, well I didn't get offered a professional contract uh, there was probably 10 of our boys and two people got one so it was after the two years so I had a good two years there but then didn't get a professional contract the coach from America is actually lives in the Lincolnshire area and he's he runs a school out there and he said if you don't get a contract, we can offer you scholarships to come over because obviously you played to a fairly decent standard. So I had contacts through him and uh, went over there last summer. Then I had to sign a scholarship agreement and uh, so that I'd go out there. And then I went, I went over in June last year. And uh, I think the university work started at the end of August, but he was obviously playing every day as well, like, like in England, but there's a lot more work. He was, he was at uni every day as well. But it's, you had to try and combine the two, so it was a good challenge. It just it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh, when I signed up, I, I'd, I'd not been over there. And I, as much as I enjoyed it and met some brilliant people, the football wasn't, for me, as good as I thought it would be. And also the university life, um, the tests and that, they weren't really too hard. It felt like you get a degree in whatever you wanted, really, because you'd, you'd have take-home tests and things like that. It just wasn't what I thought university would be like. So at the end of the year, I decided to call it a day and come home. I couldn't give up uni completely, and I, was, I tried to go straight into my second year here uh, with what I'd done in America, but it didn't quite count for the same thing, so I had to start again here, but it was always my intention to go to university here rather than go to work. I put in my things and I got offered from the two, uh, from Lincoln and from Northumbria, and uh, obviously living in Lincoln, it would be a lot easier to go to Lincoln, and it would save, it save me a hell of a lot of money. And from a football point of view, it meant I could keep playing for well, find a team there, play for the local team and make some money out of football there. But I just, for university for me, it's like a big life-changing experience. I wanted to go away, meet new people, do new things. So I decided to come here. It's been a good start. I, I enjoy the lifestyle up here and that, and the course is going really well. Yeah, Friday's off, so I tend to not go home till the Friday night and I can get all my uni work out of the way on the Friday so that I know all I've got to do when I go home is concentrate on the football and then come back on the, on the Sunday night and uh, I'm ready to go again for uni. Uh, I play for the university third team up here. Uh, I've, I've been on and off, obviously. Well, I've had a few injuries this year and, and illnesses, so I've not really played as much as I'd like to up here. And then uh, I still travel home and play for um, Sleaford, my team back home. I play for them on weekends. I'm at the stage now that I know if if it doesn't go well for me in football, then it's ultimately my degree that's going to pull me through for the future. Oh, I'll leave it out, Owen. Just leave it out, Owen. <laughs> Still got celebration sauce, though. <laughs> um, I've made some very good friends and everything here, but to do what you've always dreamt of doing and to go and play football would also be very appealing. So, as I say, it would just be a very difficult decision for me to make. <laughs>